What's up, Vinyl Community? It's Tone. And um, I normally don't do videos like this. I normally don't get involved in controversy. And, and granted, um, this video is exactly what the title says. It, this is a, uh, a discussion about the true meaning of Record Store Day. And I wanted to do this now. I wanted to give it about a week or so uh, after the passing of the last holiday. Um, and I'm going to refer to Record Store Day in this video as our holiday. Um, I want to let it pass, let everybody get out their Record Store Day videos, because I didn't want anybody to become discouraged about um, recording their own video. Um, I'm sitting in a different location, by the way. My kitchen is behind me. You can't really see it because of the light coming through the kitchen window. Uh, but it's just a little bit more comfortable because I have my computer here and I'll be able to read you guys some things that I want to read. But um, I want to let about a week or so pass before I did this because I wanted to watch people's videos. I really enjoyed watching everybody's video. Uh, and, you know, people being so excited about RSD. Um, you know, some people, of course, there's always a rant. And, and it wasn't absent from anybody's video really you know people have an issue with the state of the union so to speak so this is kind of like the state of the union but for record store day um, and I, I just I felt the need to come out and talk about the spirit of record store day the true spirit the true meaning almost like as if i'm talking about christmas the true spirit of christmas well this is the true spirit and true meaning of rsd and where it's gone and the state that it's in um why did i feel like i needed to make this video well because record stores and record store culture and music collecting culture is very 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 important part of my life um, as it is with every one of you who are watching this video I'm assuming at least everyone that I know and that I subscribe to and that I follow and that who follows me um, I uh, rec I can recall the very first record store day even before I go there, let me just read you something from Wikipedia. Now, the Record Store Day, the Wikipedia page for Record Store Day was put together by the Record Store Day organization. It was uploaded and written by RSD Incorporated. Um, Record Store Day is an annual event inaugurated in 2007 and held on one Saturday every April to celebrate the culture of the independently owned record store. This is the mission statement for the purpose of the initial purpose and the initial spirit of Record Store Day. Let me read that again. Record Store Day is an annual event inaugurated in 2007 and held on one Saturday every April to celebrate, in quotations, to celebrate the culture of the independently owned record store. <coughs> Excuse me. It goes on to say that the day brings together fans, artists, and thousands of independent record stores across the world. A number, now I want you to listen to this part. A number of records are pressed specifically for record store day with a unique list of releases for each country. So there's nothing strange about that. We already know that. It wasn't like that at, at first, by the way. That, that came about a little bit later. It goes on to say, and these, and I'm paraphrasing, these specially pressed records that are unique releases for each particular country are only distributed to shops participating in this event. Let's pause for a second. These number of records 
that are pressed specifically for Record Store Day, with a unique list of releases for each country, are only distributed to the shops participating in this event. It's nothing that we don't already know, but let's dwell on that last part for just a second. This celebration, this holiday that we know as Record Store Day, and I'm excluding Black Friday because I think that's a bunch of bullshit. It's absolutely absurd. I don't recognize it. I don't support it. I don't talk about it in a positive light. Record Store Day, Black Friday is, and you don't hear me cuss a lot because I just don't like to. I think I'm a little bit more intelligent than to constantly use foul language. So, and sometimes I do. I'm, I'm human and sometimes it feels good to use it. Right now it feels good to use it. Record Store Day, Black Friday is about a bunch of bullshit. Bullshit. Um, I'm focusing on April's Record Store Day, the actual holiday, and which was inaugurated in 2007 to celebrate the culture of the independently owned record store. However, unless you decide, unless you, as a record store owner or manager or all of the above, unless you decide to participate, what does participate mean? Well, spend your money in buying the pressings that are manufactured, they're created and manufactured and delegated for Record Store Day. So unless you decide to spend money for Record Store Day with RSD, with the RSD company, now I'm not blaming RSD, I'm gonna to get to that in a second. Unless you do that, even though you're an independent record store, you're not part of it. You're not recognized as being part of it. Let's rewind back to 19, or to 19, to 2007. I remember participating in the very first record store day and the second year and the third year. You went to the store. You didn't get in line early for anything, really. I think maybe the third year you did. Maybe even the second year, but irregardless. You went to the store, you hung out, you just hung out and you talked to other collectors, sort of the way that we do here uh, in, in the vinyl community. And you enjoyed the camaraderie. Record stores had special sales for Record Store Day so that they were participating with you in blessing you with lower prices for things that were new or things that were used. It was mostly used. And there was a camaraderie, an, a, a, a spirit of camaraderie that thick. And you felt it. And you stayed there for hours talking about records and bullshitting about the hobby and talking about your favorite pressings and enjoying that you were taking part in celebrating the most important entity that we as collectors rely on, and that is the independent record store. As it became more successful, independent labels who were hungry and striving for success and interested in the music would put together special releases, 45 7-inch RPM records, um, re-releasing uh, albums that may have gone out of print, um, new artists that would have signed to these independent labels. They would release on Record Store Day as a, a celebration of new music and old music and the hobby and the culture and the lifestyle of record collecting and music collecting as a whole and supporting the spirit of the independent record store. As years went by, major labels, and, and before I go any further, if any of you watching aren't familiar with who I am or any one of my videos, and you haven't paid attention to the very few things that I've alluded about myself professionally, I, I'm not talking out of my ass. 
I've been a music industry professional my entire career. I'm a Grammy-nominated producer, Grammy-nominated songwriter. Juno Award, MOBO Award, Brit Award, Soul Train Music Award, American Music Award, ASCAP Songwriting Award nominee. I, ha I, don't, I have one win. I have a Soul Train Music Award. So I'm talking about the very industry that I make my living in. And it's an evil machine. I love my industry because I love music and it's what I've been blessed to do my whole life to buy a home, buy cars, support my children, give to people, uh, support the body of Christ. I'm a Christian. And it's been my passion because from the time I was this high, it's all I wanted to do. But I know that the industry in which I work in is the devil. And once the major part of the industry got a hold, got a whiff of what could possibly become of Record Store Day, again, I'm not blaming RSD, you're talking about major record labels who are very, very, very powerful. Massively powerful. The music industry, the recording industry side, I'm, not, I'm, I'm leaving the MI and the pro audio side out. That's the musical instrument side. I'm leaving that out. The recording industry itself, which encompasses, or let me just back up, the entertainment industry, which encompasses music, Recording, broadcast, which is television and radio, and motion pictures, is the most influential and most lucrative industry on the face of the planet next to the oil industry. It's number two only to oil. It is the most influential retail sales machine on the face of the planet. It's extremely powerful. So, as the entity of Record Store Day, when you are pressured, in a sense, an underlying pressure, where major labels are saying to you, hey, we can do this, and we can do that, and you'll make this much money, and we'll dump this much money into it, and we can do this. Part of you is influenced by money, but part of you is scared, because... Let me tell you something. If the major labels wanted to do something to shut down Record Store Day, they could do it like that. Quicker than that. Very simply. So, who started Record Store Day? I think six individuals. Eric Levin, Michael Kurtz, Kerry Colleton, Amy Dorfman, Don Van Cleve, and Brian Poner were the three were the individuals that originally founded the entity of Record Store Day in 2007. Now, how much control they have over RSD right now, I don't know if there's a board. I don't know that much about the internals of RSD, but I do know, I do know that if I was one of those people, I understand the influence of the major labels. And when I say influence, it is an underlying subliminal influence because what it really is is it's a demanding pressure and is that there's an allusion not illusion but an allusion things are alluded to by the major labels to RSD and again I'm not part of the RSD so I don't know for sure I'm speaking on the side of the industry that there's probably a great pressure over Record Store Day as an entity, as a corporation that feels absolute pressure by the major conglomerate in the recording industry to do what they want. Now, the industry is not going to say that. The major conglomerates aren't going to come out and confess this. But you can tell by the thumbprint that they have over RSD. Again, rewind. First year, second year, third year. I remember going to Record Store Day and hanging out all day and talking to record collectors that I'd never met. I'd meet new collectors. 
And it was just a wonderful experience. You know what happens now? I'm going to give you this year's scenario. I was with Pat Vinyl Richie, and we had decided to meet up, and I was excited. I was going to get to hang with my buddy, man, finally. And we decided that we were going to do Record Store Day at the largest independent record store literally on the face of planet Earth, Amoeba Records Hollywood. I've been to Amoeba a billion times. It's here. I live in the greater Los Angeles area, which has more independent record stores in one geographic location than anywhere on the face of the planet. We have more record stores here. It's overwhelming. You just, you have so much to choose from, you don't know where to go. That's a blessing and a curse, really. But we're sitting and we're, we've, we're in line and we've met up to participate in this, in our holiday. Um, I'm just checking the time. I'm going to wrap this up. And we, uh, we were in the largest record store on planet Earth. And if you watch my video, which is actually a contest submission for Mark at Back at the Vinyl, the contest was called New Surroundings. And I decided I would do it on Record Store Day and I would do it in Amoeba Records. I took everybody on a tour around Los Angeles and I ended up at Amoeba with Pat. If you look at the video, I'm standing in the biggest record store on planet Earth. And there's hardly anybody in there. Why? Because Record Store Day has become this. You stand in line like a bunch of cows, like a herd of cattle. You get shuffled in, you get given numbers, you get given a list, you pick what you want, you buy what you want, like, like they've put a trough on your mouth, and you feed like a cow feeds. You get your records, you're done feeding, and off you go. Why off you go? Why? Because you spent 60 fucking dollars on a record and 50 fucking dollars on a record. 110, 120 bucks on a couple records, which is what you would have normally spent shopping for two, three, four hours, digging through the bins and coming out with eight to 10 records. That's supporting your record store. How is buying two records that the major labels get most of the money the record stores see that much profit. That's how much profit margin is in it for the record stores. What they're relying on is that you'll stay there and you'll shop and you'll be there and you'll spend more money on other things that they actually make a profit on. But it doesn't work that way. Why? It's not your fault. It's not my fault. It's not RSD's fault. It's not the record store's fault. It's these major labels that are putting price tags on stuff that is absolutely absurd And then you leave. Why? Because you've spent 120 bucks, 150 bucks, 200 bucks on two, three, or four records. Unreal. You don't have any more money to spend. It's something that you felt intrigued and that you wanted. Why? Because they make you think you need it. And we fall into it. Are were a lot of the records good? Absolutely. Again, this is not a rant on RSD. This is a support and a discussion to support the spirit of Record Store Day. I love Record Store Day. I love record collectors. I love collecting music. I love music. And I love the true spirit of RSD. And I love the true spirit of the independent record store. Without those stores, we would technically be nothing. So I didn't buy anything this year on purpose. Might I get something later on when it used or if it goes less than it was being sold for? Yeah, probably. But I'm going to end this here. We need to get back to the real spirit of Record Store Day. And I think that if we all do that, we'll be able to bring Record Store Day or at least we'll tr we, we can try to bring Record Store Day back to its true spirit and its true meaning. You might agree with that. You might not. But uh, something I had to share and say. So love Record Store Day. Love you guys. 
Uh, I love the spirit, the true spirit of the independent record store, and we need to keep supporting them. Um, will it ever change? Probably not, but we can try. I'll talk to you guys soon. I'll see you in a bit.